Okay, today is September, I'm sorry, November 21st, and it's been a while since I did a video, so it's time for an update. As you can clearly see, the engine is now in the car, and that's a miracle all by itself. I actually had to take the thing out and put it back in about four different times after I made alterations, so. Uh, but it really wasn't that bad, not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. So. Some points of interest I wanted to point out while we're looking at things here. The header down there, you can see that the steering shaft runs through the header, right? It runs through the header. So what I had to do was I had to have that header completely loose, the engine loose at the motor mount right there the steering column loose and the steering column had to go in at the same time the header went in at the same time you lowered the motor in the place so it's kind of a it's a tricky little deal but works good like it's supposed to those are Sanderson coated headers and uh, the steering shaft goes down through it right through the middle of it got a custom oil oil stick in there dipstick and I know the car's a mess, it's pretty dirty because I'm, I'm in a body shop basically doing this car so lots of dust, I keep it covered but it still gets dusty but anyway that engine's in there and matter of fact I'm hoping to start it this weekend by Sunday if everything goes according to Hoyle all the gauges are hooked up temperature, oil the amp meter's hooked up inside, or not the amp meter, but the voltmeter. Transmission dipstick, coil, blower motor. That alternator is a. Them brackets I bought at a place called Old Dog Hot Rods here in, in the greater St. Louis area. And uh, it worked out pretty well. Had to make one little adjustment to it because it wasn't lining up properly. So my partner, Rev, who owns. That car right over there. Say hi, Rev. Hi, Rev. That's Rev. That's his Comet. It's a 61 Comet gasser he's doing. You can see that on YouTube as well at Rev's Gasser. R E V S G A S S E R. Rev's Gasser. Check that out on YouTube. But anyway, like I was saying, I had to cut this bracket here. A Rev did. We had to cut that bracket. Let's see, where am I at? There am I at and bend it just enough to get the alternator to line up with the pulleys and I'm taking this video before I put the radiator in which I have ready to go the radiator sitting right over there that's a Griffin and uh, as you can plainly see I've I've already mocked up all the transmission lines and I know where everything goes it's all been fitted so it's ready all I gotta do is drop it in there. I'm just waiting for my fan to come from Summit. Running two fans with this hook, with this setup. You'll see it after it's all put together. But running a a puller fan off the water pump. I'm also going to be running a pusher fan outside here, 1500 CFM out in the front, and whatever the puller fan draws. I've got my transmission lines all made up and running. Everything's already been bolted in ready to go there's my fuel regulator and fuel line that's, that's how that's all set up carburetor sitting over there on my in my cabinet I'll put it on Saturday when I'm getting ready to fire this thing hopefully Sunday morning I'll be firing it that, that would be nice But uh, that's the progress I've made since the last time I made a video. You can see the headers are all in there. But this side, the header dropped right in there. I mean, I didn't have to do anything except drop it in there and bolt it on. I've got all my spark plug wires run behind the engine and then behind the headers. So there's no excessive wire showing anywhere, which I think is the way to do it. <clears throat> But, uh, 
So we're just about ready to fire it. I wanted to take video before I finished putting it all together so you could see what it was like before I put the radiator in. It's a real tight fit. I mean, I can barely get my finger between the end of that shaft and the radiator fins. But there's just enough there to clear it, so that's all you need. Rev, who I introduced you to a minute ago, made these mounts. And uh, they're nice mounts for that radiator. It sits right on that nylon. It's all nylon with felt on top. Teflon. Teflon? It's Teflon, my bad, not nylon. So that's how the radiator is mounted in there. You can see it from this angle. It's got these little ridges that Rev cut out of it. You can see that ridge right there? That butts right up against the outermost part of the radiator and locks it in place so it doesn't move. Pretty ingenious. And uh, as I say, I've got the engine grounded to the frame at the motor mount. So that'll be nice and car will be grounded. I've got the MSD box over there. I thought that was the best place for it. It's out of the way. It's away from the heat and uh, in a good location there. So I think that'll work pretty good. We'll see. All my wiring's all buttoned up there nice. Everything's good and tight. You're not going anywhere. The car itself is kind of a mess. I haven't really done that much to the interior except for the dash. The dash is finished, although it's dusty. All the new gauges are in. I don't know, I'm not using this steering wheel. That's just sitting on there so I can steer the car. Stereo's in it. All the gauges are in and working. Lights are all working. So that's all finished. Hopefully all the gauges will perform like they're supposed to when I start the car. But other than that, really nothing on the interior I've done. Except move the battery to the back of the car, which is where it's at now. And I run a cable all the way up that side of the car along with the speakers, speaker wire. That speaker wire is coming back here to where this amp is going to be. I got to tighten all that up right there. It's just kind of laying there at the moment. Now, here's how smart I am. I was putting that amp in and I thought that's a great place for it to be. I was going to screw it down right there, you know. So, actually I was going to put it right over here is where I was going to put it. This is a flatter spot. So I drilled me a nice little hole right there and a nice little hole right there. Guess what's under this right here? Just go on and guess. That's right, the gas tank. So what did I do? I drove the hole through here and right through the gas tank. So I had to drop the gas tank, weld it back up and repair it, put it back in there. But it's <laughs> that's just the kind of stuff that happens to me when I'm doing this kind of thing. But anyway, like I was saying, I put the amp right there and tighten all them wires up and it's gonna be nice. And the battery's gonna be right here. So that's all taken care of bolted down ready to go all I gotta do is put the proper ends on there and I'm ready to go the this fender here I've already wire wheeled it POR 15 the inside of it Rev's getting ready to do all the body work on the car and get ready to paint it starting next week he's gonna start on all that so the body's gonna start getting a makeover and get painted got this fender from a fella in Tennessee and uh, the other fender's just like it. I already POR 15 it as well, but you can see how dirty the car. It's been sitting here collecting dust. So we're pretty excited. It should be, hopefully this weekend, we'll be trying to start it for the first time and uh, get on with the body work next week. So if we get it started, I'll take more video and post another one. I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned, more to come.